I've been looking forward to this one. The Buffalo Trace White Dog has been aging in the mini barrel for about a month. It's time to take a look. Okay, so like I said, it's been a full month since we first put the white dog into the mini barrel here. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above. Uh, the first thing I've noticed is the barrel itself has changed color a little bit, gotten a little darker. Um, what I did was for the first two weeks, I kept the barrel behind me here in the bar. Temperatures ranging you know mid to upper 70s probably there's a lot of equipment in the bar it tends to heat up a little bit and then i decided to i guess mimic the change of seasons i put it out in the sunroom which had about probably a 20 degree temperature swing the sunroom is not fully insulated uh, it just has you know two walls of windows so the temperature in there could vary from the 50s on up the other thing I noticed is there was a little bit of leakage. You can see some staining here. Um, maybe I was a little too aggressive in filling the barrel when I did and didn't let it fully seal, but it hasn't been too bad. Just a few drops here and there uh, have come out. So as a reminder, this is the control. This is what we put in there, a perfectly clear uh, Buffalo Trace White Dog Weeded Mash. So enough of all the background. Let's take a look at what we have after a month of barrel aging. We'll be seeing this together. I haven't peeked at all to see what it's been doing over the last few weeks. What we need to do first is remove the bung plug. At first look, a little bit of a concern is how much has evaporated. And now we will pour it out. And there we have a nice color to it. Again, that's what it went in like. And this is what it looks like now. I'm happy with that. Again, I'll put a link below for some Glen Cairn glasses like this. Let's see. Okay, on the nose, it's immediately oaky. Mellower than it was, it seemed, when it's in its raw form. I like the color. You can definitely more sweetness, more sugary than before. I guess this is a real test. So first impression, there's definitely the oakiness. A little bit of subtle sweetness, especially on the back end. Some more peppery flavors on the front. Nowhere near as smooth as I think it needs to be. Certainly better, smoother, a more complex flavor than the, the raw mash. The char inside is obviously doing its thing both in color and taste. So I think we have a, a little way to go still. I'm certainly not going to finish it now. I, originally I barreled it on March 15th, thinking I'd keep it in there for a month because on tax day, April 15th, I'd need a st stiff drink. That's where we are now. But tax has been pushed off another month. So let's let it sit now for another month till May 15th and see how it does then. I think it could definitely 
use some more time in the barrel. Well, I hope you're enjoying the barrel aging as much as I am. This is kind of a fun thing to do. Please hit the like, subscribe, and bell button, and I'll see you again here in the arena.